given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in Hey guys, it is Friday, April 24th, I believe um, Just made a huge score on uh, Facebook Marketplace Did it safely, had my mask, I had some gloves um, Had a really sweet older lady that was selling a bunch of uh, DVDs that were brand new Never open in packaging. Um, there was a hundred of them. I got them for eighty dollars. Um, when I get home, I will show you guys the videos or what DVDs were included. Let me know if I get a good deal. I think I get a great deal, even if I get like five bucks a piece for them. That'd be awesome. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video, and I'll film some more when I get home. Thanks. These three boxes are all brand new DVDs, except for these two. They gave me. They just threw in. They were open. Nobody's fool, and the informant. Yeah, everything else, brand new. It looks like there's five different seasons of uh, Modern Family, brand new. G.I. Joe, Yellow Birds, 22 Jump Street. I'm gonna go through it all. Let me open everything up and I'll show you guys how through. I'm going through everything right now. And I did wanna make a point to show you. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I got seasons two through five of Modern Family, brand new. Um, Again, I know DVDs aren't the uh, hot selling commodity they used to be, but that's pretty sweet, man. Five uh, full seasons, brand new DVD format. So definitely should get some money on that one. Let me know what you think. All right, so besides Modern Family, this is the other uh, television show. I got Duck Dynasty, I'm Dreaming of a Redneck Christmas. I used to like the show back in the day, but these guys kind of get a little crazy uh, later on. And I don't even know if they're still on TV anymore. Let me know in the comments below uh, if, if they're still on TV. And if they are, what channel they're on. Or are they even still living the beard life or what? What's going on? All right. This blockbuster of a movie. G.I. Joe. Anybody need a copy? <laughs> I'm going to let these ones go real cheap. Because, uh, yeah, I have a, a copy or two. Such a, I mean, a solid cast, too. Bruce Willis, The Rock. But uh, never really, never did anywhere near than what they expected. Disappointing, too, because I used to love G.I. Joe back in the day. I'm an, I'm an 80s baby, after all. Born in 1980. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want a copy. Another The Rock movie. Pain and Gain. I actually really enjoyed this movie. Mark Wahlberg and The Rock together. Based on a true story. I got about, uh, one, two, three, six copies here of Pain and Gain. So, I, I don't know. I actually like that movie a lot. And um, I'm not sure if anybody else will like it, but I don't know. It's pretty good. It's interesting. If Sausage anything. Party. Hilarious movie. Definitely adult themed. Uh, I know my kids, when it was on Netflix, they saw it and they said they wanted to watch this one. And I said, uh, yeah, not today. Not going to happen. Uh, awesome cast, though. I mean, like Seth Rogen, <laughs> Jonah Hill, Bill Hader. Craig Robinson, Paul Rudd. I mean, it just, everybody's just awesome in that. And I got five copies of this one. So I'm curious to see how that does. Um, I really enjoy that movie. I'm a big fan of stupid comedy. <laughs> that was right up there. Speaking of Jonah Hill, uh, him and Channing Tatum together are absolutely hilarious. Uh, 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street are both equally hilarious. Like, absolutely funny. I just watched 21 Jump Street the other day. Uh, again, for the first time in a while, and I laughed out loud probably at least 20 times. Hilarious movie. Uh, I got four copies of 22 Jump Street. So I'm probably going to keep one for my PC because I love the, those movies. I've never seen this movie, but it looks pretty interesting. The Yellow Birds. Um, let's see here. I'm not really familiar with much of the cast. I mean, Jennifer Aniston, she's amazing. But yeah, nobody nobody else really stands out to me. Um, got three copies of this movie. I don't know, I'm usually a, a movie, or a, a military movie fan, so I'll definitely give it a shot. I got three copies of this one. Awesome thriller movie. Bobby D, Nick Nolte. Awesome, awesome movie. Pretty damn scary, too, because Bobby D plays a crazy man like nobody's business. And I uh, got two copies of this one. Big fan of this movie. Definitely uh, made me feel uneasy the first time I watched it because uh, Bobby D was real creepy. Robert De Niro for 
regular fans. Me and Bobby Deere on a first name basis, you know. So that's how it goes. Liam freaking Neeson, baby. Nonstop. Really enjoyed this movie. Very uh, Liam Neeson esque movie. Uh, thrills, action. Just like every Liam Neeson movie. Uh, I got three copies of this one. Pretty stoked about that because uh, definitely a good, good time. Good action movie. Get through the, uh, the Rona. Watching a good flick like that. Scissor Hands, classic. Winona Ryder, Johnny Depp. I mean, just awesome movie. Who, who doesn't love Edward Scissorhands? Three copies. Very happy about that. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> Crocodile Dundee, one and two, double feature. Two copies. Another classic. 80s film. Love it. Bye Bye Man. Little, little horror movie. Never actually seen this, and I'm a big horror fan, so I'll, I'll be popping one of these copies in. Got two of them, so keep one, sell one. Penguins of Madagascar. I think I saw this one time with the kids. They loved it. I got three copies of this one, and they all come with a slipcover, so that's a nice little addition. Big fan of the slipcovers. Just makes it look cool, man. It really does, especially if you display. The Long Dumb Road. Never heard of this movie, but it actually looks pretty interesting you know i'll give it a shot i mean i got three copies here um don't really know the cast at all but you know what i'm i'm uh, dealing with the, the rona here i mean we're quarantine i don't have the rona but quarantine might as well watch a copy get three copies sell two keep one another double feature a little stewart little one and stewart little two uh, never seen these movies, but I got four copies, so I will probably check it out. Keep one for the kids to watch. And uh, hopefully the other three sell. I mean, I'm pretty sure every kid loves SpongeBob SquarePants, so got four copies of To Love a Patty. I don't even know. It's, this is like a... Oh, it looks like, yeah. Okay, it's, it looks like a, quite a few episodes with some sp uh, special features. SpongeBob is hilarious. My kids have recently discovered them. Uh, this, discover the show, and they, they watch it pretty re religiously, so I've gotten into it again. Uh, like like I said, I'm 39 years old, but enjoy some uh, odd humor, let me put it that way, and Spongebob definitely checks that box. Dead Ant, never heard of it, but Tom Arnold and Sean Astin are in it. Jake Busey, oh my god. So, uh, yeah, this looks pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's a giant ant on the cover and the uh the wardrobes look <laughs> outstanding spinal tat meets tremors this could be uh so bad it's good type of thing two copies let's sell these bad boys thomas and the magic railroad alec baldwin merrill wilson and peter fonda never saw this movie but um looks like it might be like a classic type thing that i just never saw so um i don't know maybe i'll keep a copy of the kids maybe not but yeah, it looks like it's a full-length movie. Got some special features, so... I real. Tom's uh, in the Magic Railroad. Then got one copy of Hotel Transylvania, and then two copies of Hotel Transylvania 2. And it looks like they uh, got some special edition slip covers, maybe uh, Christmas time. Looks like something like a Best Buy or a Walmart would have at Christmas time for the uh, the cheaper cheaper deals. So I'll probably put a lot of Hotel Transylvania 1 and 2 together and then sell the other Hotel Transylvania 2 uh, single. All right, so these are all the single copy films I got. I got Saw 1 and Saw 2, both special edition, uncut edition. Um, the Saw 2 comes with a slip cover. Again, these are all brand new, never opened, never viewed. Uh, Place in the Sun, never saw this. Montgomery Clift and Elizabeth Taylor. Hmm. I don't know. Never seen that. Never heard of it. But it looks like it might be a, an older film. Give it a give it a whirl. Writer collection. Looks like it's Ghost Rider and Ghost Rider Two. Yeah, two. Uh, it's double feature. Nick Cage, baby. Never saw these movies. Never really heard a good thing about it. If you've seen either one of these movies, let me know what you think. I mean, I've never heard. A good review, but I honestly haven't heard much of either one of them, so maybe I'll uh, check that out. Old DC Superman. I saw this movie in the theater. I mean, I'm not a huge comic guy at all, so I mean, I enjoyed the movie, but I know a lot of comic fans weren't happy with it, but 
it was fun. I definitely passed the time during the uh, quarantine. I was super stoked to see this. Uh, the Indian in the Cupboard. Uh, awesome movie of my childhood. Brand new sealed. I didn't even know this was out on DVD, honestly. Um, haven't seen this in years, so I'm really tempted to keep this for myself and watch it. Um, but I'll probably end up selling it. Dragon Ball Z. Um, I honestly don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z. If you know anything about Dragon Ball Z or if you're a fan, please leave a comment. Let me know if this is good or not. I mean, I'm sure it's nothing super special, but if you're a fan of it, I'd rather have somebody that's a fan of it enjoy it and not me. So all these are going to be priced very, very cheap. So um, let me know if you guys see something you like and we can work something out. Good Samaritan. Never heard of the movie. Um, no idea what it's about, but just looking at the cover, it honestly looks kind of interesting. I was glancing it over a little bit. Eric Roberts, the guy's in every movie. Julia Roberts' brother, fun fact. I don't know if you know that or not, but yeah, he's in every movie. So, I don't know. Let me know if you've seen it. All right, I'm going to poll the audience. Who do you think has been in more movies? Eric Roberts, Julia Roberts' brother, or Danny Trejo? You know, Hatchet. I, I swear, those two guys, either, one of them are, are in every movie. If one's not in it, the other one is. So, let me know. Who do you think is in more movies? Danny Trejo or Eric Roberts? Let me know in the comments. Going in style. This movie I actually really enjoyed. It just reminds me of me and my friends. You know, growing up, we're all still friends to this day from high school. And there's about six or seven of us that are just absolute brothers. And I can see when we get to this age where we're like, you know what? We got nothing to lose. <laughs> let's go. Let's do what we got to do to survive and uh, have, a, have a fun, fun way to go. Let's hustle. These guys are awesome. Great cast. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, highly recommend it. Mike Myers, not Michael Myers, like the Halloween killer guy, but Mike Myers, like Wayne's World, you know, whoa. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, the Cat in the Hat, kind of creepy movie, but fun for kids, so they enjoy Red it. Skeleton Christmas in Color. Uh, I've never seen Red Skeleton, but I know my grandparents used to enjoy it a lot back in the day, so maybe somebody's grandparents will want it. And Bye Down the Bay. Curious George, Zoo Night and Other Animal Stories. Who does love Curious George, man? He's awesome. What a cool little monkey. He's got a little panda buddy. That's that's awesome. Good for you, George. This is pretty sweet. A three-movie collection. Jim Carrey's uh, Lemony Schnickets. A series of unfortunate events. Then you got the, uh, the Spiderwick Chronicles. And then Hugo. I've actually never seen any of these movies. But uh, it's a nice little triple feature. So that'll be a nice little movie night for a family. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm the captain now. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Now Tom Hanks is the captain, baby. Captain Phillips, that is. The Last Warrior. Game of Thrones meets Braveheart. I don't know about all that. But uh, the blood of many for the honor of one. Nice. A little gladiator-esque. Maybe I'll look a little, a little more into this one. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was Daddy Daycare, but it's a Grand Daddy Daycare. And look at that. Danny Trejo. That is outstanding. Told you, man. Every movie, him or Eric Roberts. <laughs> Danny freaking Trejo. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please make sure to go ahead and give this video a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I know... Um, only have one video, got seven subscribers. Love to see that number go up, and I mean like way up. That would be awesome. Um, and leave comments. Let me know what you like and didn't like about the video. Uh, definitely learning as I go. Um, I'm, and I promise to post more videos of what is sold um, on eBay or Macari or whatever. Uh, I'm going to try to make a video of what's sold over the last month since the last video. And going forward, anything that does sell, I'll try to get video of it before. So <laughs> uh, I'll film it as I'm sending it out. So... Uh, and one thing I wanted to point out, if you guys do decide to buy anything, the link will be in the video. I do send out as soon as possible. So if I get paid for an item and it's before 4.30 that day, I will get it shipped out to you that day. Um, if it's Saturday, if it's before 11.30, I'll have it shipped out immediately. Um, but if it's after 11.30 Saturday, it won't get shipped out till Monday. And if it's after 4.30, it'll be shipped out the very next day. But I live very close to my storage unit and the post office, so it gets sent out immediately. 
So again, everybody be safe. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a